2007, hundreds of thousands of Chicago residents were headed to the emergency room with an intense itch. We had pieces of the puzzle, but there was something of an entomological mystery afoot. And shot town you might want to hear a brother out so it's not as mysterious when it happens again this year. See, what had happened was that people were going to the, the to the hospital reporting itching, presenting with unexplained rashes. Now, it had been a weird year already considering billions of billions of rowdy teenage insects had emerged in mass from the bowels of the earth for the rave of the decade. But could these two things be linked? I, I mean, cicadas don't bite people. Do they? No, they don't. They, they they really don't. But maybe something else they're doing could be responsible. Like, like maybe people were allergic to their waste, which was just raining down from the treetops, but no dice. People didn't start presenting with these rashes until several weeks after the cicadas had perished. The same week, mind you, the eggs of the cicadas began hatching in the trees, and their nymphs dropped to the ground to start their life cycle all over. This was the crucial clue. It turns out that their babies carried with them a sinister hitchhiker, a parasitic opportunist known as Pyamodes. The itch mite. These microscopic arachnids love an easy meal and often go after insect eggs because they're relatively defenseless. Cicada eggs are laid in divots that the adult females cut in branches and hatch uh, about six to eight weeks after they were laid. But this allowed for the populations of these mites to balloon to enormous size while they're eating all of these, well, defenseless and incredibly voluminous food resources. When the uneaten cicada eggs hatched and the babies fell to the ground, the mites went with them them looking for a new meal, sometimes in numbers as high as 300,000 mites per tree per day. They get especially excited when they touch human skin. Anyone standing under a tree that six weeks ago hosted a cicada rave is likely to experience the mysterious 17-year itch. It also goes away in about a week, but your friendly neighborhood entomologist is here to put you on so that you're not left guessing next time.